Welcome everyone to Banana Bread Trades. I'm your host Goose and today we're going to show you a quick video on how to make your own custom Quan Tower theme. Now as you may know you can go up here and just change to one of the default themes they have. Dark Autumn. Some of these are kind of ugly in my opinion but uh, they got one that'll like absolutely make you blind and then some of these other ones like if you're an old person you might like this but if you're young hip and I don't know you want something cool or you like different colors you can go with something like this like what I have here so in this video we're just gonna break down kind of like how I do that it's really not that hard um, if you're just wanting to change your candles and your backgrounds also you can just go to settings and you can go to data style you can change your candle colors here and if you just want to change your background gradients go to view and come down here to back top color and back bottom color and you can adjust those as well and you can make those all sorts of different colors change the opacity to like 20 so it's not as bright and yeah make make this however you want it to be but in this video we're going to do more than that we're going to be able to change our time and sales colors all these border colors all that stuff you actually have to go into kind of the code of quant tower to change a little bit of this but it's it's really not too hard and I think like you guys can pretty much do whatever you want. You can customize a lot of different stuff on here. So let's hop in and do that real quick. So to change the auxiliary colors and not just the regular colors that you can change with, you know, just the regular Quan Tower background settings, we will want to open our Quan Tower folder. And this works with regular Quan Tower and AMP Quan Tower. I know they're separate software programs, but the process is all the same. So open up your Quan Tower folder, go to trading platform your version, open up bin, and then scroll down, go to themes. Now here you'll see all the themes that we talked about earlier. Um, if you like one of them, you'll want to copy it and rename it to whatever you want it to be. I copied the default folder and then renamed it to Goose. And then you'll want to open that up, go to CSS, and then open this colors file using Notepad. So you'll double click on that, open it up via notepad and then here you can see all your auxiliary colors that you can change and most of these are pretty straightforward as far as primary background color primary border color all your different text colors your buy sell colors um and the way you change these colors is this little hashtag and then six numbers that's the color code and if you don't know what color code goes to what i will link this website down below as well um, and this shows you, you know, you can scroll to whatever color you like and get the color code for it. And all you'll do is just copy that color code, go back into Notepad, and you'll paste that new color code in there, and then go to File and then Save. And then whenever you go to open up Quan Tower again, your theme should be in there. And then whatever colors you put in should appear and it's really just that simple so yeah that's that's really all there is to it you'll have to play around with it to get whatever you want if you just want my theme that I have here I will link it in my uh, discord and the link to the discords down below it'll be under the Quan Tower themes channel and in the Quan Towers themes channel I'll also like have written out how to do this as well in case you forget um, and then I'll also right here I'll have my theme and if anyone else in the community creates their own themes and they look cool i'll throw them in here as well so you guys can you know all share and save each other's themes now there's one other very important thing that you will have to remember and that is with your theme folder so like this goose folder for example you will want to save a copy outside of quantower and that is because every time Quantower updates, it's going to get rid of all foreign files. And what does that mean? Well, that new folder that you put in there will get erased. So you'll want to keep a copy. So every time you update the platform, you can just copy paste it back into the themes file and then all will be fine and dandy. Your levels should stay there and everything should be the same. So yeah, that's really all there is to it. Um, if you have any questions, just hit me down below. Also, special thank you to Swoop. He helped me out with this and getting it all set up to begin with. 
Um, I'm very happy. I change my entire settings probably at least once a week. So now that I can go even more in depth, I'm going to waste a lot more time. So yeah, excited about that. So thank you guys all for watching. Please hit the like, subscribe, whatever, comment down below. If you hate it, comment that down below. And yeah, thank you guys all for watching and we'll see you in the next one.